So a fishing reel needs a rod, right? Well, not necessarily. Today we're gonna look at a real 3D printed product that is actually a rodless fishing reel and talk about the design of it in order to make it manufacturable, how it could be improved, and how they could probably solve the problem of being sold out right now. So the Go Reel is a product made by Crystal Creek Outfitting. It is a rodless fishing reel, which is basically just the reel itself and then you can bait it and toss it out however you want to. These types of reels are really useful for backpacking or camping where you need something that is low volume, low effort. A whole fishing rod doesn't fold up very well, whereas a rodless reel can be really useful because you can just throw it in your pocket and then you've got it whenever you need it. It is made with a small tackle box, so the bait, the reel, the line, the hook, and everything else can all go into one single tight little cylinder. It is a fantastic package that is enabled by 3D printing. But let's go ahead and dive into the actual design of this whole thing. First of all, the reel itself. The reel itself is not just a reel. A lot of people think of a reel like you do a filament reel, two flat sides and that's all there is. But since this thing actually has to allow you to cast, it is a semi-triangular sort of reel, where one side of it is slanted just a little bit so that the line can easily fly off of the reel when you cast it. But then in addition to this, the center holes of the reel look like a lightweighting feature, but that's not what they are. They are actually a piece of ergonomics to where your fingers can insert into the reel and you can handle it one-handed and still cast effectively. So you put the reel on the end of your fingers right there and then you can turn it that way and throw and you're actually able to cast it some distance. These are subtleties of the design that are indicative of somebody who really understands the problem that they're designing, whereas somebody who just came in and designed the thing probably couldn't create something this reliable, this good, and this intentional about how it's made, which is why it's so important to design products about problems that you already know. The tackle box itself is designed really well with good grips on the outside. I'm not actually able to tell the resolution that they're printing it in, but I would probably recommend that they add some texture to the outside of it, and this would allow people with wet hands to get a hold of it easier. In this case, layer lines and texturing, things that come for free with 3D printing, really help to improve the product overall. They could apply knurling to the outside, or just a little bit of fuzzy skin, whatever it happens to be. A lot of textures are available, so that when your hand is wet, muddy, and slimy, you can still get a hold of your tackle box and your real and everything else that you need. Now, I would like to look at the branding that they have on these. You can see the Crystal Creek logo on the top of each one of these things. It's fantastic, except for one problem. It's in a different color. Now, that is fine, and I understand that. It's very alluring to print it in a different color, but it radically slows down your production process and limits you in how many ways you can produce this. And this is a perfect moment to mention our 3D print-on-demand app, Teleport. Teleport could really be helping out the Crystal Creek guys, because right now their entire store is sold out and they're not able to get them selling again. When you're sold out, that means there's demand out there to get a hold of it. You don't want to take a break at that moment. You want to scale up. Teleport is for that. They could just upload the models to Teleport and whenever they get an order, we would print and ship those items directly to their customer for them. This would give them all sorts of new options and it would allow them to get access to thousands of 3D printers without having to pay for it at all since Teleport is a free product. Now, the trick to this is, is that they would actually have to design the product to be a single color in order to use Teleport because we don't do multicolor printing. But in order to still get the logo, they could just lift that logo just a little bit off the bed so that the first layer is printed and then the second layer is printed on the next layer. So you still have that contrast with the logo embedded on it, but it can still be printed on a service like Teleport so that they can scale up and get out of that problem of being sold out. If you want to try using Teleport for your own business, it's free to sign up for. Just go over to slantpod.com and try it out today. That way you don't have to deal with running your own print farm. You can just design awesome products like the Crystal Creek Reel and then sell them and know that you have the scale to support yourself without having to pack all the boxes or keep your machines operational. But this problem that Crystal Creek has is really, really good. Being sold out is fantastic. But something I noticed on their website is they have really good photography, really good product photos, and a product that is really demonstrable. This is something that you really like in products today. The Go Reel needs to be cast, and it needs to be packed up, and it needs to be unpacked. It's very demonstrable in the video world that we live in right now. And if you can find products like that, that's always what you want because the cost of marketing is so little, hence why they're sold out right now. They also did a really smart thing, and they opened up wholesale down at the bottom of their website. This means that retailers can reach out to them and purchase the product in bulk. Again, this is a situation where you want to use larger print farms or want to make sure you have the manufacturing capacity available to support those orders, which is a thing that we do all the time for folks. 
And the Go Reel is such a perfect product for this because it actually can be merchandised. It can be put on shelves and not take up a lot of room. So it can be put into Bass Pro Shops or other gear shops like that where it can get into retail and people can just see it wandering by. Because even though the organic reach that its videos have, it's not always enough and being in a store is really useful. But ultimately the Go Reel is just a fantastic product. It has all the good qualities of a product. It's very intentional. It has features that you can't get a hold of otherwise. And they've been able to use 3D printing to create geometries that were impossible before. The simple fact that it's so lightweight because it's a 3D printed part is an incredible advantage in this situation when you're dealing with camping and hiking gear where every ounce matters. And it's exciting to see them grow to such a level that they're actually being sold out now. Hopefully we can help them with that because they do have the margins absolutely to deal with it. If you have a product that you're looking to scale up, go ahead and check out Teleport over at slantpod.com. That'll let you focus on designing awesome products and not have to worry about taking care of all of the production yourself. And until next time where we look at the next real 3D printed product, which is even more relevant today since we have a reel for the real 3D printed product, we'll talk to you later. Have a great day, everybody.